Hello friends, welcome to RisingPearl.com. We are starting a brand new series today, series 3, called Trigonometry. This is our episode number 1 and this is an introductory video to trigonometry. So friends, very briefly just wanted to let you know that we have just completed series 2 on triangles and series 1 on real numbers. I hope you are following us along. If not, if you didn't get a chance to take a look at those episodes, I am going to provide the link below. So let's dive into the world of trigonometry. We are going to start our conversation by understanding what is the relationship between angles of a triangle and sides of a triangle. So let's draw a simple triangle. The way we are going to understand this, friends, is that first we are going to change one of the angles of a triangle and see what it does to the other angles and sides. So I have drawn a triangle ABC here. And let's do one thing. First of all, we are going to measure our angle B and then we are going to change this angle. So let's do that. First, we have put a protector here and angle B is 70 degrees. So let us write angle B as 70 degrees. Now we are going to reduce angle B to 50 degrees. So here 40, 50, 60, right? So let's get the protector out. So here what we have is now this is a new angle B and this is 50 degrees, right? And the dotted line, it represents the old or the original line AB. If I want to keep the same length AB, now it will be A dash B. As you can see, the A dash B has actually exceeded the length AC. So what we need to do is we need to actually extend the angle C in this direction so that the angle C now can pass through A dash, right? So if you were to measure angle C originally, angle C initially is 40 degrees, so 30, 40, 50. So this angle originally was 40 degrees and now we need to expand angle C, right? So now it is almost 45 degrees. So let's move the protector out. So our new angle, which is angle C now, this is actually 45 degrees. So friends also, so you will notice that originally it was A, right? And now it is A dash. So if you look at this length, right? Like this particular length here, this length, if I now look to have my triangle as A dash B C, then this length is something that I need to now remove. Correct? So this length, which I have shown here as shaded, I have to reduce the length of A C by this amount. Right? So let's do one thing. On this side, we started out with a triangle A B C. Right? We had angle B was 70 degrees angle C was, initially it was 40 degrees, 40 degrees, and we can conclude from here that angle A must have been, we know that angle A plus B plus C in a triangle is 180 degrees, so 70 plus 40 is 110, so angle A must have been 70 degrees, so originally this angle was 70 degrees, right? Now, because we changed one angle, remember this condition A is we change one angle and understand how it affects the triangle. So, over here, now let us write this for triangle A dash B C. So, for A dash, so here this was for triangle A B C. Here, what we have for A dash B C is angle B, we changed it on purpose to 50 degrees. And friends, why we have changed it to 50 degrees and not 40 degrees or not 80 degrees or 90 degrees or any other number, it is totally arbitrary. What we are looking to understand is how changing one angle is impacting the whole triangle, right? So angle B now is 50 degrees. Angle C we measured is now 45 degrees, right? This is 45 degrees. So we can conclude that the new angle or angle A dash right now will be. So this is basically um, 50 plus 40 is 90, 95. So this should be 85 degrees. So angle A dash, this angle 
is now 85 degrees right and also this size has been reduced that is the new length a dash c what we have a dash c this is actually less than the original length of the side ac so friends as you can see simply by changing one angle how it impacted so many things it changed the angle c it changed angle a it changed the length ac and similarly also a dash b length has also changed so clearly friends changing one angle clearly affects the rest of the triangle now we will explore condition b where this time we are going to change one of the sides of the triangle and see how it affects the rest of the angles and the sides so let's just quickly measure our, our initial triangle so angle b is at 70 degrees so this is 70 degrees this time let's measure our angle all the angles so angle a is 70 degrees again so let's do one thing so our angle a is 70 degrees right now for angle c it is 40 degrees so our angle c now is 40 degrees so as we know let's get the protector out so as we know sum of three angles clearly is 70 70 uh, 140 plus 40 180 so here friends because we want to now change one of the sides so we are going to actually reduce the length of bc by a certain amount let's just call this new position as c dash so the c actually we are trying to reduce it and dotted line again shows the original length so bc was the original length but now it is bc dash right and now what will happen is that in order for us to now make a triangle we need to reduce angle a so that the angle a can now the, the, the line ac can actually pass through c dash so we have to do something like this right so initially it was angle a the whole amount but we have to reduce it so that our line now passes through c dash so now let us see how it affects the rest of the angles so if you measure here now the new angle now friends is 60 degrees see that so 50 60 70 so the new angle right now so that is this angle the new angle is 60 degrees 60 degrees and similarly if you take a look at this c dash at that point our angle is now 50 degrees see this angle here if we measure this right initially it was 40 but now it has become 50 degrees so this angle is 50 degrees also friends so let's get the protector out so what we have is and similarly this length initially the length was ac but now ac dash is smaller remember that this side we have to actually discard if we are to consider triangle a c dash b so very quickly again the way we did it earlier so if we looked at triangle abc if we looked at triangle abc so our angle angle a was 70 originally angle b was 70 angle c was 40 so what we did we reduced the length of the side bc to a smaller length bc dash so now we have triangle a a b c dash this is a new triangle in this triangle angle a has changed from 70 it has become 60 degrees as we just measured angle b it remains at 70 degrees angle c has actually increased to 50 degrees also we are noticing that a c dash here a c dash is less than a c and also we will notice that the so clearly this length is less right our length a b remains same and b c we reduced on purpose so friends as we can see simply by reducing one side it really impacted these other angles right and also impacted one other side
So the friends, the point we are trying to make here is this. Let's summarize what we are really discussing. So clearly, there is a relationship between angles and sides in a triangle. And the branch of mathematics that deal that uh, the branch that deals with this relationship or the study study of these relationships between angles and sides in a triangle, this friends is called trigonometry. This study, study of these relationships where we connect the angles to the sides. So these angles express some relationship between the angles and their sides, right, is called trigonometry. And just from a completeness standpoint, what is the meaning of the word trigonometry? Tree means three. Gon means sides. And metry really means measure. So you can interpret that as something, study, that deals with the measurement of three sides right so friends so this was an introductory video on trigonometry uh, we hope that you will join us in the next webisode where we are going to start to explore the world of trigonometry in much more detail